Hello Taurus, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the last week of July of 2020 spiritual guidance reading. I've decided to work with the Good Tarot deck by Colette Baron Reed and I'm going to be doing a Celtic spread. I'm going to then follow up with a card or two messages from the Gateway Oracle deck and the Mary Queen of Angels Oracle deck. So let's go ahead and start. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless whichever Taurus energy I'm reading for with clearly defined messages regarding the last week of July of 2020. All right, so in the center of the Celtic spread, we have the Queen of Air. So this is an energy of someone who has uh, observed a situation, obtained some form of wisdom, and now has the strength to maintain balance by setting goals and intentions for themselves, while at the same time, very kindly, yet swiftly cutting away from those whom do not serve you. So this is the energy surrounding whichever Taurus I'm reading for during this general reading at the beginning of the week of July 27th of 2020. Yeah, because it's your call in your thoughts position. Judgment is yours. How are you going to make the highest best decision, most importantly for yourself, as you cut away from who and or what no longer serves you in a kind uh, quiet way, really. I'm just going to block these people and I'm going to move forward and uh, make better decisions for myself is the energy I'm feeling for this Taurus. Now in this Taurus's foundation, they do have some form of masculine air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. This could be a father figure. This could be a grandfather. This could be a business person. Um, This could also be that not only are you kind of cutting away from connections that aren't healthy for you, Taurus, but you're also speaking your truth in a way where you are very clear. There's not a lot of emotion involved because you are making a call for yourself. You're choosing better paths, new directions, things that are in a higher, better frequency for yourself. And you're not afraid to talk about it. To defend it is what I heard. So in the recent past, maybe during the first half of July of 2020, we had the two of earth. So this is energy in this particular deck about doing what it is that you enjoy for the process of trying different ideas, painting, drawing, writing, doing photography, pottery, poetry, coming up with a business idea, getting a new place, going to school, starting to get things organized in your mind, doing something that really grounds you creatively is what has led up to this clarity that you'll be feeling during the week of July 27th of 2020 Taurus. Now, by midweek, we do have the messenger of earth. This is beautiful. This is about continuing to devote yourself, continuing to put one foot in front of the other, continuing and not giving up. For in your actions position, we have uh, a Taurus here with the aid of water energy who is saying, you know, I've been here. I acknowledged my truth. I'm making a new call for myself, new choices and new decisions to do what I like, to communicate with others regarding uh, my finances, my money, so that I can walk away from uh, an experience that no longer serves me. People, places, circumstances, situations, and environments are going to be on the mind of this Taurus during this week. Now, in the spiritual advice or inner strengths position, look at this, Taurus, you've got the world. This is beautiful. So you've got a major arcana of making the right decisions in your thoughts, position, and spirit saying yes, indeed. Continue to put one foot in front of, the, in front of the other, cut away from who doesn't serve you. Work on what fulfills you. Go away from what does not. Maybe some of you are leaving behind uh, this older air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini during the last week of July of 2020. Uh, something has gone full circle in your life and it's like, I've had enough. There's this sh sudden shift in perspective because of your efforts and decisions. Someone here is making higher, better decisions for themselves because it's time to walk away from what wasn't working anymore. 
not going back to someone who, you know, is very truthful and focused, but sometimes a little cold. Now in the subcon, uh, I'm sorry, hopes and fears position, we have a Taurus who is hoping to either come into connection with someone in a leadership position, a manager, business owner, and or you are growing financially, you are growing uh, spiritually into this higher self. You're going from communicating and putting time and effort into you and your boundaries with others. And at the same time, someone here is evolving into a greater position of abundance. Do not fear this abundant life try, spirit is trying to help for you to manifest, for they are helping you to bring an old path to an end that no longer serves you. It's just because the time has come in your journey. So in the outcome position, beautiful, we've got the high priestess. So by the weekend, of the week of July 27th of 2020, we've got the realization that the time is now. I have gone full circle. I have shifted my perspective. I have walked away and cut away from uh, old decisions that weren't good for me. I learned. I'm over it, right? So on the bottom of the deck, we do have page of fire energy. So this is exciting information when it comes to new ideas and plans that you are working towards they're saying as you continue to look excitedly into changes in the area of home family business you're going to start to shine like the sun you're going to start to feel very harmonious in connection to others in your life like you have matured somehow and with the nine of earth energies you are recognizing that through your efforts uh a divine plan is unfolding. Beautiful, Taurus. And this will give you the strength to forgive and release. So I'm going to bring in the Gateway Oracle deck for a closing message, and then we'll do one closing message as well from the Mary Queen of Angels deck. Please clarify the energy for the week of July 27th for this Taurus, a miracle. As you devote yourself to your values, your relationships, to God, you will find clarity as to what to do next and expect and hear about miracles in your life. Trust that God knows the perfect solution to this process that you are working towards. And eventually you're going to recognize that the time is now. You're going to find more clarity because you're observing the results of whatever you're putting your positive energy into during this week. And it could be by the weekend of July or the end of July of 2020 where this Taurus can finally fly free. If you can't fly free from your circumstances at this point, Spirit's saying, know that your life is truly being guided by the High Priestess at this time who's going to bring you the clarity you need through your intuition. So pay attention to your intuition and know that all of your efforts, the seeds that you are burying in your life, goals and intentions, will indeed cultivate prosperity. So we're going to talk a little bit about love as well before I close. I'm bringing in the Wisdom of the House of Night deck by PC Cast and Colette Baron reed Please clarify the area of love for whichever Taurus I'm reading for during the week of July 27th of 2020. So we had two cards jump out here. We have someone learning about loyalty. As long as I'm loyal to myself and the ones that treat me respectfully, I can move forward. And with the fledgling energy, this is about researching the loyalty of another, the loyalty of uh, yourself. The high priestess of spirit is here in your thoughts position. So again, they're saying, listen to your intuition as you pray to spirit, for we are going to guide you towards your calling. Remember to make the highest, best decisions on your own behalf. First and foremost, some of you need to really just think through um, and meditate. 
what it is you want to say to someone, maybe an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. In the past, you guys were working on something that you really enjoyed doing and it grounded you. In the past, there was indecision because of lust. I wasn't, I gave in to the energies of passion, but I was at an imbalance because I didn't quite know if there was going to be long-term loyalty here. So the advice is to meditate, especially at the beginning of the week, Taurus, and wait. Some of you may be waiting and are confused about communication with someone who has earth in their chart like yourself, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. But from uh, midweek on, continue to put your time and effort in and remember to get clear about your boundaries. With the obedience energies, take off that blindfold. Find balance in your life and don't be afraid to speak your truth. I'm going to continue to put time and effort into me for I'm starting to recognize this beautiful understanding that spirit is shining down upon me that it is indeed time to move on. That my path has gone full circle and I can either repeat old unhealthy patterns, behaviors, or cycles for the next 10, 20 years, or I can shift my perspective. Some of you, by the end of the week, you are going to just automatically with this major arcana have a shift in perspective because you didn't give up, because you spoke your truth with others, because you understood that it's time to move on, that you have grown and you have matured, especially spiritually. And now this maturity, these goals and intentions, this confidence here, this new perspective of confidence is giving you the strength to bring a conclusion to anyone or anything that no longer serves you. So in the outcome position, Spirit's saying the High Priestess is going to help bring you the clarity you need. And the clarity that you need is that whatever it is that causes chaos in your life has to go. Spirit wants to bring in new miracles and wants to help you to fly free. To put your focus elsewhere. To plan goals and intentions that will bring you great self-worth. And to recognize those who communicate with you that don't have the same perspective. For some, you will learn that you are worthy of moving on and that you are where you're meant to be right now in this moment of pause so that you can get clear about what you want to plan for yourself moving forward. This is just a beautiful reading. Um, okay, so should these messages have resonated and you have further questions and or would like your own personal energy read, feel free to write me at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer a one month, three month, six month and yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below this video. I am still offering the now summer special, which is a 15 minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. So thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks to those of you whom have liked, shared and subscribed. Thank you so very, very much to those of you whom have donated to keep the channel up and running. Take care and God bless.